James Kaufman, World News Report, today, October 16th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I thought we'd start off by just taking a look at our sun. It's the earth-facing side. It's our solar disk with all the earth-facing sunspots. All right, let's get started taking a look at the space weather and solar weather. Now, we do have both tonight. Something's hitting the planet hard from behind. Stick around and find out. All right, so today, looking at our Boulder KP index, it's an indication of solar winds and or plasma or combination thereof. We've got nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. Moving down to our Fredericksburg KP index, we saw no geomagnetic disturbance or storm for the entire day today and three hours yesterday. If y'all will recall, Noah had a warning out about today, the 16th, saying that we should get sideswiped by a decent sized coral mass ejection. And we'll have to determine if y'all think that happened or not. Over to our estimated planetary KP index, updated by Noah and NASA for hundreds of thousands of dollars into thirds. We show no disturbance or storm today, nothing. Moving to our college index, it's a whole different ball game. I'm guessing that's University of Boulder up in the mountains. We're seeing actually 12 hours of geomagnetic storm and three of those hours being a moderate storm. So this is a big deal compared to the other indexes, although you see something similar in Boulder, i.e. where the NASA station and NOAA stations are on the campus in Boulder versus the Boulder KP index itself here under the college KP index. A real quick look at our planetary KP index to make sure all we saw is the indicators. Messages 3.333 times. Whew. I won't even tell you they're expecting something to go down. Again, our estimated planetary KP index just upgraded for hundreds of thousands of taxpayers' dollars. All right, we've had a very busy day. We started the day off at 3.19 UTC time right here, 10.19 last night with an M2.9 out of sunspot AR3852. Now remember that 3852, we'll take a look very shortly. That was followed just after that at 3.46 UTC time, just before 11 p.m. last night central time an M3.7. Now that was also from sunspot AR3852. And that's not the sunspot that's a Delta class sunspot. We have AR3854 that's actually a Delta class sunspot, but is not doing anything. Now we have a third, a third M flare here, very strong, an M2.8. It's at 5.15 UTC time here, about 12.15 after midnight last night. Again from 38.52, go figure. Now that was followed at 13.37 peak wise. Another M1.5 solar flare, about 13.37 as I said, but 6.40 central time here in the U.S., also, guess what? From 38.52. And that was immediately followed by a double bump here and M1.3 at 14.42 or 7.42 this morning. Followed quickly up by another M1.3 peaking at 15.00 or 10 a.m. this morning, uh, one after another. So if it was hard to get up this morning, hey, I'm living it with you, period. Again, none of these solar flares, all M flares, came from the only Delta sunspot that we have back 
I say back because it actually had become less complex. Now it's back to a Delta class sunspot it is, of course, AR3854. And we'll keep an eye on that. So all together today, it looks like we had six M flares, the biggest being an M3.7 flare that picked around 346 UTC time right before 11 p.m. last night. So I know everyone can hardly wait. The M3.7 was a 3.77. God's number. Chance of X-class solar flares today went up to 20%, M-class to 80%. We do have a Delta-class sunspot, but it's not the one that produced any solar flares today. AR3852 was a culprit for every M-flare we've seen today, where AR3854, well, it was quiet, but ready to rumble. Now, we've been above a C-class minimum solar flare, which I used to report for several months. I think one day or less, four or five months, we've been below that. So I would say the chances of us having a C-class solar flare headed towards a solar maximum or 100%. All right, over to HMI Intensigram. 3852, that sunspot right south of 3854, is the only one to produce any influence today, whereas 3854 is the only Delta class sunspot group that we have. We have a, well, what looks like complex sunspot, not Delta class, Earth facing 3856 currently. And let's not downplay 3859, 3858, and 57. Well, Named first, second, and third wild, with more sunspot groups coming around the limb, as we all know. So, our guess with seven sunspot groups was correct here. Start at 3852. It's been so bad to us today. Only seven sunspots in the sunspot group, beta, gamma. Then we have 3854. Nothing today. It's a Delta class sunspot with 25 sunspots in the group. 1355. It's a beta class sunspot. Very little happened. Then we have 3856. Two Delta class sunspots. Earth facing sunspot AR3856 is directly Earth facing with 18 sunspots in the group. Then we have a beta class, 3857. We have an alpha class, 3858. And another delta class sunspot, 3859. Let's see where these all are. So we've got 54, 56, and 59. 3854, 56, and 59. So are both delta class earth facing, and 54 is getting right there in the hot spot as well this is getting ugly although it does not look such so taking a look at the combo s2 and cactus one it's going to be a freak show so many freak things happening on cactus one it does take us into the 16th here as you can see we don't see much happening nothing incredible here we do have that explosion on the 11th that should, again, be impacting Earth with a, quote-unquote, glancing blow at some point today. Although, I'm sure that ship has sailed. I'll show you two of the best shots from Let's Go C2 and Cactus 1 for the last few days here. And again, here, they line up perfectly. And bonus clip from today. You know, we're not supposed to have any more of T Atlas. And something here has occurred. Not quite sure what has occurred, but bonus clip. Over to go. Solar ultraviolet imager. 195 angstroms. See that coral hole is well past Earth. The solar winds 
if they were headed this way, which they really shouldn't be, being in the northern hemisphere, they will probably hit Earth by now, and we don't see that in any of the data. We will take a look at Discover and Ace. We do see uh, 52 and 54, one stacked on top of the other, and a lot more coming around the limb here. Over to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. It hasn't been updated in some time. We're dealing with this area through here, probably 425 to 375 solar winds. And on the 16th, it was hit by about 14, 14 centimeters cubed of plasma. That would be the glancing blow that I talked about on the 16th. Over to D Region Absorption Prediction Center. It's just the last few hours. If you're wondering if you're getting enough radiation, there's enough radiation in your diet for sure. As you can tell, as our Earth slowly, slowly rotates and orbits our Sun. Over to our new Discover Real Time Solar Wind Satellite. This is where the, well, rubber meets the pavement. If you know what I mean. Shields are down all day long. Plasma never goes above 10 centimeters cubed. There could not be any storm, but what are, almost all the KP indexes scream storm. We have solar winds starting uh, as low as 375, 374, and spiking up to over 500 here. This is the coral hole that was Earth facing for a short period of time. The temperature reacted slightly. Plasma never went above 10 centimeters cubed, and our shields never decided that there was a problem and rose. Checking, checking, and double checking our work here. See no real impacts up here. We see density, plasma, always below 10 centimeters cubed. And we see solar winds starting just below 400. They work their way up to about, well, 500. Just as Discover said, we see that increase in temperatures as solar winds struck our planet from the coronal hole in the northern hemisphere. Jumping over to SDO, we're going to see that 54 and 52 above it and the new, well, sunspot coming over 58, and then this coral hole. And watch the flip. I've already called NASA. Look, it's not not uh, 180, it's a 360. Why would they ever flip the spacecraft 360 degrees? Um, ladies and gentlemen, you can see how active 38, 54, and 52 are. They're one on top of each other. So our other sunspot here, wow, they went the other way. I'm going to, well, crazy. And just to let you guys know, this is error 3856. Let's make sure they flip the one way and then the other. That would be more than hard to believe. Let's get us up there. No, still clockwise. Two. 380 flips, uh, hard to explain, more than hard to explain. All right, over to the back side of our star, we still have 002 and now only 010 right here, a little bit different polarity, and then gone down here shows, well, just south of the equator, some huge sunspot groups coming around I think we're going to name at least two of those tomorrow on the 17th. Jumping to STO HMI Magnetogram. Wow. That's actually AR3854 and above it 3852. So very complex there. Uh, we have negative over positive in the northern hemisphere, which should be a well, reverse polarity sunspot. That's AR3854. 3856. Jumping over to so 284 angstroms. It's not been updated in some time. You can see that coral hole is no longer earth facing. We have, well, 
five four five two and five six right here and a couple of new ones coming around the limb we did have a filament eruption late yesterday as well for our last sto view we have soho at 195 angstroms uh, the same view we get from goes solar ultraviolet imager at 195 angstroms you can see that curl hole departing you can see five four five two five six five eight etc and we'll have some new sunspots come manana so as usual i guess nasa blew it they have the earth getting hit by plasma on c 24 25th as we discussed uh yesterday we have all these satellites on the back side we've got parker sp we have osiris apex used to be rex and yes we have i love lucy right below mercury right there so we should have a perfect idea of what's coming around the limb yet we don't over to the european space agency davis looking for an impact of plasma perhaps today let's take a look they've been pretty right on with plasma 16th nothing occurred whatsoever and they have us going nothing they blew that and solar winds well we'll have to see if they blew it but i think they totally blew solar winds as well again they had solar winds going down below 300 kilometers per second them spouting up just over 500 it's opposite day in europe as usual right at least they're starting to deport the cultural enrichers whereas we're still importing them all right so earth is in the thick of things over here with all the big gas giants jupiter uranus saturn they're all lit up you can see the rings around them because that means uh, electromagnetic connection to earth and the sun is going to swing by tomorrow behind earth we did have a 6-1 earthquake in turkey today when it was daytime out and i expect that to get worse you can see the well jupiter and uranus are going to start to really light up as the earth moves in front of them and gets more of a geomagnetic connection currently uh, we are in areas so i did decide to let you guys judge but in this model earth is moving to the left at six seven thousand miles an hour orbiting once a year around our sun and all the pressure here is on the back side or the non sun face inside or solar face inside and it makes little sense to me maybe you can make sense of it uh, we're headed to the left and also at you at 544,000 miles an hour i.e our star breaking away from the big bang pulling all these planets with it according to mainstream science right and finally if you don't like pressure the wind speeds behind us or 600 kilometers per second remember earth is moving to the left at 67,000 miles an hour and those winds are over 1.6 million miles an hour coming up they're not negative 600 watch they'll go positive again right there behind the planet and this is off the charts at 600 kilometers per second in the same direction that earth is moving at 67,000 miles an hour although it's moving at you at 544,000 miles an hour and we'll bring it forward because these winds don't stop they pass earth and they just keep coming i have no idea what is causing those winds but i thought it may be important that we show you guys god bless please share please subscribe always remember anything's possible in bizarro world